Um, is it hackable, Bitcoin? Have people tried yet? And what is the analysis of it? Is, is no, it I going to be a hack? No, I think it's unfeasible. It's not there, feasible. No. Well, the, there, place, the place where we'll see hacks is um, on people's computers. So I, I think we will see Bitcoin viruses or Trojans that get into people's computers and then try to steal their Bitcoins, right? Because your Bitcoins are stored on your computer. So if your computer is not secure, then that's the way I think we're going to see it hacked. The Bitcoin so, network itself, that's not where uh, people are going to lose Bitcoin. So the best way to keep a Bitcoin protected would be to put it on a thumb drive and put it in your pocket? Uh, yeah, that's maybe. a really good way. But then, like, a lot of people try to see this as a criticism of Bitcoin, but I think this is a really silly criticism. You don't, like, go to, you don't say, like, oh, the bad thing about PayPal is that if I, if I give away my password or someone manages to see my, uh, my banking details, then they get all my funds. It's the same with Bitcoin. You have to protect your Bitcoins. It, you're not, the Bitcoins are stored on your computer, so now you're responsible for protecting them, not some bank or external entity, which... They, let's face it, they have security faults themselves, and they often do have problems. You only need to look at, like, in the poker sites, UB and AP, they have all the cheating scandals, and Sony with these recent credit cards. I, I'm, I'm a bit of a paranoid person. I don't trust people with my money. You've been watching This Week in Startups. To watch the full episode, click here. To check out some other shows from This Week in, click here.